support the sides of your neck to lift a little bit so that your face is not submerging into the floor. That's lovely. Take one more full breath and shift weight towards the balls of the hands. Exhale, downward facing dog. Leap with the tail. A few spinal articulations here. Lift your heels, roll through your spine, high plank. So tuck your tail, roll through the back. Get the back of the neck too. Nice. Exhale, downward facing dog. So if you want to watch, if that was confusing, I'm going to demo for that one. Otherwise, you could do it again. Inhale, lift your heels, tuck your tail, roll through your spine. Exhale, hold, find strength. So this time, upper back extension. Lift the sternum, keep the legs the same, prevent low back dipping. Exhale, keep your collarbones gaze forward, downward facing dog, it's articulate as well. It is that I believe that everyone has a substantial contribution to the world, a special gift to share with some ever in the world. But in order for us to know what that gift is, we have to know who we are and what we value. And so as teachers, we can facilitate that for our students as well, celebrate them, our, our individual students for their gifts, and be yogis, see them for where they're at, and support them. And then we can use our medium for you, it's dance work. For us, it's teaching dance or body work. And rather than using our students to teach them body work, use the body work or dance to teach them about themselves. 